All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, as always, we, we love to give all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushah, Ba'ashem, Rakakudash. The honest to Apostle Tahar and the rest of the elders that are firmly pushing the truth. And as always, peace and blessings to the elect. All right, I got the brother with me. Shamgar, shalom. That's right. So uh, we just wanted to do this lesson, <clears throat> you know, uh, based off of uh, an experience we had yesterday. You know, we, uh, we uh, the Spirit led us to go. To go see some, see some brothers. And I use that term loosely. <laughs> uh, that that we haven't seen, that we haven't seen in a while. And um, and they notice, you know, the spiritual and the uh, and the carnal glow up that the heavenly Father and His Son bestowed uh, bestowed unto us. You know, because like I said, we haven't seen each other in damn near like a year. And um, we were just declaring all of the wonderful works that the heavenly father has done for me and the brother shamgar and they were just astonished like, oh yeah like they was like yo yo like yo how did how did y'all pull that off how did, how did y'all pull that off and he's like hey bro it, it was the lord you know it, it was it was it was definitely the heavenly father all right because the heavenly father will um the heavenly father will reward you all right the heavenly, father, the heavenly father will reward you for doing his work all right, for staying steadfast and abiding in the labor. So this is Surah 11, start verse 21. It says, Marvel not at the works of sinners, but trust in Ha'adawan and abide in thy labor. That's right. And that's the thing, to abide in the labor of the Heavenly Father. Okay, hey, could you get Surah 2 on the, on the second chapter? Mm -hmm. Hey, because you have guys, you know, they'll go through certain trials and tribulations and they stray away. From the heavenly father instead of leaning upon him even more you know and and the wonderful things that the heavenly father did to us hey uh before before the heavenly father gave us those things hey man me and his brother me and his brother was catching pure hell right our we were catching pure hell you know the heavenly father was that's that surah on the fourth chapter you know trying us you know you know trying us by his laws matter of family go ahead and get it this is Surah, the fourth chapter, and that's what you're going to experience before the Heavenly Father bestow blessings on you. You know, you're going to have to go through that fire. Mm -hmm. This is Surah 4, starting verse 16. If a man commit himself unto her, he shall inherit her, and his generation shall hold her in possession. Verse 17. For at the first, she will walk with him by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon him. And that's what, and that's what we were going through. Mm -hmm. You know, wisdom was walking, walking with us by uh, crooked ways, and bringing fear and dread upon us. All the, all the, all the turmoil, all the, all the tribulations that we were catching, and torment him with her discipline until she may trust his soul and try him by her loss. That's right. Verse eighteen. Then she will return the straight way unto him and comfort him. And show him her secrets, and that's what happened. You know, now uh, you know, you know, you know, brothers is up in the spirit, um, one hundred percent. You know, the heavenly Father shows that he's with us, that he's uh, with us more. Like uh, for instance, like this past week, man. Every like, every, it's like every time we see another car license plate, all we see is one uh, four four. Like every like every time, like every single car, we just see one four four, one four four, one four four everywhere. You know, it says and shew him her secrets, and that's why we say things in the spirit, mm -hmm. and the heavenly father manifests it right then and there, or manifests it maybe a day later in the news. Mm -hmm. Why? Because that's a secret. Mm -hmm. The heavenly father, you know, worked on our minds to say certain things and he bring it uh to pass. And that's because we endured all those things. Mm -hmm. We endured all the trials and tribulations that the heavenly father brought upon us. But other dudes as soon as they start catching some hell, and they fucking fall out, yeah. right? Like this, like I heard this one uh, report of this one guy that we used to be in a camp with, and he didn't even endure for a year. Mm -hmm. He only endured for like what, like seven, eight months, maybe. Right. He didn't. He, he if, if that you know if that he didn't even endure a, a full year. He didn't endure a full year in this thing. When the heavenly Father. You know, you know, plagues you. You're supposed to rely more on him, not, not uh, straight away. You got some out? Yeah, kind of. Um, 
I got uh, Job 42 and 10. Oh, hold on, bro. Let me go ahead and uh, cue it up. Okay. You said what? Job 42 and 10. Job, Job 42 and 10? Yeah. All right, bet. Job 42 and verse 10. All right, bet. Go ahead, bro. Con, it says, And how Adawan turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also, how Adawan gave Job twice as much as he had before. All right, skipping down to verse 12. He said, uh, verse, it says, so how Adawan blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning, right? And then it goes into talking about how much he had. But everybody knows the story of Job. <clears throat> That's why this uh, whole uh, book is in the Bible, because brothers are going to go through a lot of different uh, trials and tribulations. that's going to try our faith, prove us as gold, right? But as long as we endure, we see the latter end of Job, right? And that's what we're looking for. You know, at the latter end of our tribulations and sufferings, because we know that as long as we hold fast and are faithful unto Yahweh Yahweh Shai, mm -hmm. our latter end is going to be uh, uh, way better than our first. Beginning, than mm -hmm. our first. Con, con. Mm -hmm. Right? And Job could have gave up, right? And Job said a very wise statement, if I, if I could. Yeah, yeah. What is uh, it? Job 2 and 10. Okay, Con, let me go ahead and grab it. <clears throat> Job 2 and 10. And he was talking to his wife. Yep, go ahead, brother. Con, Job 2 and 10. Is Matter of fact. Okay, Con, start up. Yes, yeah, start at verse 9. Con, Job, uh, Job chapter 2, verse 9. Then said his wife unto him, Does thou still retain thy integrity? Curse the heavenly father and die. But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What shall we receive good at the hand of the heavenly father? And shall we not receive evil? And all, and all this did Job not sin with his lips. And that was a wise statement, right? Because we're gonna get good and we're gonna get bad. Job was blessed, right? Mm -hmm. Look, 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 look at the men of the heavenly father before they were blessed with, you know, great things. They had to go through it, man, right? And that, and, and that's that proven process. So anybody expecting for this this truth to be all good, that's a fantasy, man, right? Mm -hmm. But as long as you endure, your latter end is gonna be better than the first, man. That's right. That's the point. That's right. Yeah, this is uh, Job chapter thirteen, verse fifteen. It says, though he slay me, mm -hmm. yet Yet will I trust in him, but I will maintain my own ways before him. You see that? So though the heavenly father uh, slay us, we will yet continue to put our trust in him. And because and we see that we see this all the time on like movies, TV shows or whatever or, or shit in real life, too, man. Are right, you hop on Facebook? Really? Like, like a lot on Facebook. Mm -hmm. You know, something bad happens to somebody. Why, God? Why? Right, right, why? Right, why? Right, 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 why? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like they don't even they, they don't even stop to consider that hey maybe you know the heavenly father is doing this right. you know for my own betterment mm -hmm. for my own good because it tells you matter of fact can we get it Romans Romans the eighth chapter what's that Romans eight and uh thirty one all things work together mm -hmm. I think it's twenty eight uh, yep Romans eight and verse twenty eight. Uh, you read it already. Romans uh Romans chapter eight verse twenty eight. It says, and we know that all things work together for the good of them that love Yahweh, to them who are called according to his purpose. Yeah, see, that's how all things work together for the good to them that love the Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. See, that's so when, you know, hey, when the Heavenly Father bring hell on you, mm -hmm. you just you just got to remember your mind. Like, hey, mm -hmm. all things, you know, this is actually going to be for the betterment of right. me. You know, you know, you know, I don't know. I don't not sure. What the heavenly father is doing right now But I know the outcome Right, right. All right, all right When I transition right. To the outcome The outcome is, is going to be It's going to be good mm -hmm. All right I'm going to I'm going to land In a in a better place Than I was before Contingent upon you And during it though right, right. That's the whole thing Because going back to that Sirach the 11th The 11th chapter Going back there It says Marvel not at the works of sinners but trust in how to want and abide in thy labor. That's the whole thing. Abiding in the labor. Mm -hmm. All right. Not quitting. Mm -hmm. All right. Not uh not uh giving not uh giving up. Mm -hmm. All right, complaining, bitching. Mm -hmm. Alright, when you go through certain things, are you not are you not supposed to be of a uh complaining, murmuring spirit? Mm -hmm. Oh man, oh man. Why I gotta do, go through this, you know? F fuck I do, and right, 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 right. Woo, 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 you know what I'm saying? Well, actually, what are you not doing? Right. Okay, what are you not doing? And we go out there on the highways and bottles, and we talking about, oh yeah, how how the men of the Lord were gold. Mm -hmm. woo, woo, woo. Well, if you're gold, you gotta go through that fire, nigga. Yeah. Right? If you're if you're gold, yeah. 
Are you talking all this shit? How, yeah, man, we the men of the Lord. And with the woo, we the best of the best. With the woo, we're the best of the best. Got to go through uh, some type of fire first. Mm-hmm. Right? Hey, when Jordan came into the league, you think Jordan started winning six championships off the bat? All right, hey, people talk shit about LeBron. People talk sh- people talk mad shit about LeBron. But, hey, but hey, we see that every single... Hey, like the brother said it last night. Every single, every single winner had to lose first. Mm-hmm. Every single winner had to lose first. They had to catch L's before they got W's, right? Like I said, Jordan, he didn't come out. He didn't. He didn't come into the league off the bat and started winning championship rings. S- Steph Curry, Curry got Curry got Curry got four rings, yeah. and before Curry got them four rings, he was in the league for a while. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. He was he was actually in the league for for Curry was probably considered a vet when he first won that ring, like twenty fifteen. Yeah, it, it, no, 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 no. no. He was old, he was uh old in the Warriors, but yeah, Curry, <clears throat> Curry, he came in the league. Man, he didn't start winning championship rings. All right, he was ball. He was hooping with Monte Ellis first, right, and and, and the rest of them. Uh, David Lee, you know, he, he didn't have a, a, a nice squad, but you know, it wasn't corny either. But then, but then they got Clay Thompson and Draymond and the Harrison Barnes. Then he start kicking ass. Well, that's how it is. That every father, he's gonna set you up first. You know, you're going to have to catch some L's, and then over time, you abide in the labor. Heavenly Father will set you up in a good position for you to prosper. And that's all contingent upon you enduring, because if you don't endure, you're not getting shit. You're just going to get death. Right? So, oh, yeah, and a brother and, and a brother, and a brother actually realized, the brother who I was talking to the whole time, mm-hmm. he see, like, the condition of Israel, he see like because you know he was telling me a bunch of people who was who, who like fell out, mm-hmm. bugged out. So he was like he was like damn, it was like a relief mm-hmm. just to see us and, mm-hmm. and the fact that we're still continuing on in the faith. Hey hey, and now that's true though, cause mm-hmm. like hey, I don't I don't even blame him for like right. I don't I don't blame him for having that thought, cause you look at everybody it's like damn, everybody's falling out, everybody's bugging out. So it's like damn, I hope these brothers are still you know on on, on the right path. And yeah, man, through the grace, spirit, and power of Yahweh Bashim Hashem, we are, man, and we're even better than ever. You know, we're better than how we were a year ago, and that's through the spirit of the Lord. But it says, "Moral not at the works of sinners, but trust in how to want and abide in thy labor." And that's the whole point: of abiding in the labor. You gotta, you gotta uh, continue to push this word, for it is an easy thing in the sight of how to want on the sudden. To make a poor man rich. And it's not just dealing with, you know, just riches, but anything, man. Anything. It's an easy thing in the sight of the Heavenly Father to do anything for you. Because it tells you in Isaiah, the 59th chapter, the first verse, it says, Behold, Yahweh's hand is not shortened that it cannot save. Neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. See, the Heavenly Father, man, man, Heavenly Father ain't no chump. Right, Heavenly Father can easily, you know, bring you from a lower state to a higher state. But it's just all contingent upon his uh, timing. You know, how, how he sees fit. You know, how how he want the uh, the role in the movie to go. Because remember, this is the Heavenly Father's movie. We're just actors. We're just playing, we're, we're just playing our role in the movie. The Heavenly Father is the one who's controlling the show, okay, on, on both sides, the right hand side, and also on the left hand side. And sometimes the Heavenly Father wants you to go through a dramatic part in the movie, just so that, just so that the testimonial and the glorification to the Heavenly Father can be, uh, can be, uh, can be, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Can can just be mighty, you know, high and mighty. Like, damn, you do all that, Heavenly Father, what you do all that? Dang. And then, just like Paul and Philippians, you uh, you you bringing those testimonials out that leads other brothers. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and get it. That builds other brothers up, and then they look at that situation that you went through. Say, you know what? If I just endure, if, if I just endure those tribulations, I, I can I can easily be like that. That's how I go. This is uh, Philippians one. And verse 12, but I would, ye should understand, brethren, that the things which happen unto me have fallen out rather unto the furtherance of the gospel, 
so that my bonds and Hamashiach are manifest in all the palace and in other places. See, that's what Paul was like. Listen, all the things that had happened to me, this is for the furtherance of the gospel. All right, other brothers get built up and then they also endure. Verse 14, and many of the brethren in Hadawan waxing confident by my bonds are much more bold to speak the word without fear. You see that? So my afflictions, the things that I was going through, actually led other brothers to wax even more confident in the spirit, to speak the word without fear. And us going through those things, and we enduring it, and the Heavenly Father blessing us at the at the end of it, that, uh, that uh, leads us, only naturally leads us to get more confident. Like, yo, man, the Lord is really with us. Look at that, man. We did, man. We don't went through X, Y, and Z, and then, bam, Heavenly Father done. You know what I'm saying? Heavenly right. Father, Heavenly Father, uh, made us wax stronger and stronger. And now, me and his brother is to the point to where, like, the Heavenly Father don't even have to like whip our ass as much, as much, as much anymore, because right. we know what, because we know what's required of us. You know what I'm saying? We know what we, we know what we had to do. Well, you got some op? Yeah, Conrad had, uh, Fact. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 16. Because, like, you know, you were talking about Paul. Mm -hmm. And that Paul going through the things that he goes through as mm -hmm. the gospel. But that's, you know, that's like us being lights in the world, mm -hmm. you know? So I got that Matthew 5 and 16. It says, let your light shine, so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. So, you know, you, they, they see you pushing forth, continuing to endure, continuing to fight. The Heavenly Father bestowing blessings upon you. And they were like, wow, you know, the Heavenly Father brought you from this estate. I remember where you, where you once were. Mm -hmm. And then seeing where the Heavenly Father done brought you. They not mm -hmm. going, like, if they're a spiritual God, they're not going, they're not going to glorify you. Mm -hmm. They're going to say, dang, well, if the Heavenly Father is working with him and he's dealing in, in such a way, all I got to do is do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Be fervent in spirit. Be diligent, be disciplined, mm -hmm. endure, right? Mm -hmm. And the Heavenly Father gonna deal with me the same way. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly, bro. Exactly. That's only what a man that spiritual, that's spiritual that, yeah, that has common, common sense right. would say, like, dang. Right. I like, think so maybe like what I'm doing is wrong then. Exactly. You know, I'm cause hey, 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 cause not the you know, you know, not to blast him, but yeah. uh, what he told me was like the opposite, right, you know, right, you know, right, he, right. He, you know, he's catching uh, uh, hell, you know. Yeah, 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 he was he was catching pure hell. And I was like, dang, it's like, dang, well, it's like the opposite for, for us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, maybe the brother will consider and consider, say, you, right. you know what? You, you know what? You know, I need I need to be on the wave that these uh, that these brothers are on. The winning team. So, so that, exactly, bro, on the winning team. Mm -hmm. So that Yahweh, Bashim al Shah can deal with me like that. KD. Yep, exactly, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. Everybody got their panties <laughs> in the bunch over right. KD. Hey, win. listen, KD had went to go to the winning team. Right, yeah, that's right. right. So he's for, 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 for you to win. Yeah, yeah, that's us, man. What you want to struggle? Yeah, you, you to lose. Yeah. Our so, hey, we had to do, we had to do, go to the winning team so we can fucking win. You trade me, coach. <laughs> you damn right, bro. You damn right, cause that's exactly what happened. Uh, okay. But this is Psalm sixty-eight, <clears throat> verse nineteen. Blessed be Yahweh, who daily loadeth us with benefits, even the power of our salvation. Shalad is right. The Heavenly Father loads us with benefits. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not saying that we're just, you know, stinking, filthy rich. Yeah, no. All right. But, hey, man, we have enough. Yeah. Okay. We get to pay our rent. All right. Our, our, uh, you know, the brother, the brother drink, you know, drink. Mm -hmm. All right. We want to go to a little club, mm -hmm. you know, go to a little club. Have a little yeah. extra. You know, have a little, yeah, hey, yeah, we do yeah, our yeah, thing, yeah, man. Yeah, we yeah, good. Yeah, All yeah, right. Yeah. Which I went into the word for benefits. It says financially support, mm -hmm. especially for medical expenses. To which one is entitled through employment or membership. Wow, that's, and it's our employment. Yeah, that's right. This is our this is our employment right here. Us serving the Heavenly Father. Because you serving the Heavenly Father, the Heavenly Father is gonna is gonna reward you, man. Right, right, right. The Heavenly Father is gonna give you the Heavenly Father is, is gonna give you carnal things. Mm -hmm. I, I don't let nobody fool you. Oh yeah, the reason why you got blessed because Satan bless you. Hey, well, if you serving the Heavenly Father, the Heavenly Father is gonna give you certain things. Right. And like Solomon, right, man, fellas, go ahead and get that in the book of Kings. Right, because Solomon, he was serving, he, he was serving the Lord, and the prayer that King Solomon had in his dream pleased the Lord. So the Lord was like, "Hey, look, look, this thing pleased me. So you know, I'm just gonna add on to you." 
which is what Matthew the sixth chapter say. Go ahead and get that. Yep. This is uh First Kings, the third chapter, and verse. I'm gonna start verse nine. It says, "It says, give therefore thy servant an understanding of heart to judge thy people, that I may discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this thy so great a people? And the speech pleased Adawan that Solomon had asked this thing." And the Mosai said unto him, Because thou hast asked this thing, and hast not asked for thyself long life, neither hast asked as riches for thyself, nor hast asked the life of thy enemies, but, but hast asked for thyself understanding to discern judgment. Behold, I have done according to thy words. Lo, I have given thee a wise and understanding heart, so that there was none like thee before thee. Neither after thee shall any arise like unto thee. And I have also given thee that which thou hast not asked, mm. both riches and honor, so that there shall not be any, any among the kings like unto thee all thy days. And if thou wilt walk in my ways to keep my statutes and my commandments as thy father David did walk, then will I lengthen thy days. Yeah, so if you just do what I tell you to do, hey, man, you won't you get, you, you get all these things, right? Just like David. Because because to tell you in Kings, although David David did you know a few things, but in Kings it tells you how uh, uh, David David was perfect, an exception for what he did with you know Uriah or whatever, right? But other than that, David was perfect. And remember the Lord the Lord told David like, look, if you just want it, if you just wanted someone hoes, all you had to do was just ask. I would have gave you such and such. Right, right, right. Like, look, all you had to do was ask me, bro, because you know you pleasing me. Right. So th that's really how it is. We, we're pleasing the Heavenly Father. Hey, look, all we got to do is just ask him. The Heavenly Father, oh, okay, so what you want? Okay, cool. You know, just like a father and a son. Right. Okay, you, you're getting good grades in school. All right, you're not being a headache to your mom. Mm -hmm. All right, and your room is clean. Right, you, uh, uh, um, um, you're doing good with your sports. Mm -hmm. Okay, son, uh, oh, you, oh, you want some new jazz? Oh, cool, got you. Oh, you, oh, you want a new belt? Oh, okay, cool, got you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh, you're not, uh, you're not breaking curfew. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want you want the new PS Five? Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I I got you. Catch you up. Yeah, as long as long as you're doing what what I'm telling you to do. Yeah, I got you. So that's the same mindset. That's the same thing that the Heavenly Father got. So what's that? Matthew six and what? Uh, you talking about uh, the law of the one or six and twenty? Um, store not a few. Seek ye first the kingdom, and all these things shall be added. Yeah, you start at uh. Let's start at Matthew 6, and we're going to start at verse 31. Matthew chapter 6, verse 31. Therefore, take no thought, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? Mm -hmm. For after all these things do the Gentiles see, for your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these things. And that's right, man. When you know, uh, you know, from my from my testimony, I had to move to the spirit, like uh, like um, like uh, Abraham, basically. And I wasn't thinking, like, oh, damn, like you know, how are you going to woo woo, man? I just roll, I just roll, I just rolled in the spirit. Yeah. And then, literally a month later, yeah. <laughs> the heavenly Father provided provided me a nice a nice ass house, yeah. All right, a nice house. Then a couple months later, I got a nice ass whip. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, it's, it's just it's just some carnal things, man. I ain't, I ain't had to worry about anything, man. Right, right. Well, of course, you know, just being in the flesh, you know, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna dwell upon certain things. But man, man, for the most part, man, we don't stress. Right? We don't lose sleep. You know, our hair doesn't fall out because you know, because you know, we go through certain things. We just roll in the spirit. The Heavenly Father just take care of the rest. And then most importantly, we do the work. Right. Hey, because we go through stuff. And we go out there, and you and and, and people wouldn't even know. Con, con, you know uh, my my situation with the bat, the bat, my bat. Oh, oh yeah, facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying, yeah, yeah, you wouldn't even know. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was out there. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You, you bro, like people wouldn't even know, mm -hmm. right? Like I remember this one time. This was this was years ago. I was I was involved. I was involved in the whole car crash. Mm -hmm. and, and you and you and you look at the car, you would think you would you you would think I, I would have died. Hey, I was right there out on the streets yeah. the next day. Yeah. I was teaching I was teaching the next day on the street. Right. So brothers be going through different things and we still put our face on the camera right. and you wouldn't even know. At all. Why? Because whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. Right. 
communicate cheerfully and, and change not when thou art in a low estate. See? Nah, it's cool. Right. Go ahead, bro. Con. Matthew 6 and 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of the heavenly father and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Yeah, see that? All you got to do is seek first the kingdom of the heavenly father, mm -hmm. and all these things are going to be added unto you. Mm -hmm. Now everything is... You know, you know, you know, of course, you know, got some little bumps, yeah. but for the most part, everything is smooth sailing because, you know, we ain't going to be 100 percent, you know, uh, comfortable here at here in America because we're in uh, because we're in captivity and neither do we want to be comfortable here in our rush. Yeah, exactly. This is not a rush, but Heavenly Father, God has got us good. You know, right. we're not, you know, Heavenly Father don't got to crack that wood, right. so to speak, so to speak on us. Because, you know, we understand our mission. We understand mm -hmm. what we have to do to, you know, keep this up. And this is what we desire. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is Philippians 4 and 12. Matter of fact, I'm going to start at verse 10. But I rejoice in how to want greatly that now at the last your care of me hath flourished again, wherein ye, wherein ye were also careful, but ye lacked opportunity. Now that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned, and whatsoever state I am, mm. there are to be content. That's right. And that's the spirit that you got to be in. Mm -hmm. All right. Whatever state that you're in, you have to be content mm -hmm. and not be uh, complaining. Get uh, 1 Timothy 6 and 6. Mm -hmm. Because that's what people don't, people don't know how to be content. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. Con. First Timothy chapter six verse six, mm -hmm. but godliness with contentment is a great gain. You see that godliness with contentment is great gain. You serving the Lord and you're content. Hey, that's mm -hmm. great gain. Con. And then after that, the heavenly Father, if He chooses to bestow more on you, that's what uh, that's what uh, He'll do. Right. Now, now some brothers, hey, some brothers, you may you may not you may not be able to get certain things because the heavenly Father know that you can't uh, handle mm -hmm. it. So you just got to be stuck in a certain position because Heavenly Father, no, man, I, I give, him too, give him too much. He's going to go crazy. Yeah, man, he's going to go buck wild. And we ain't, we ain't never going to see him. Uh, what, what's that thing where it say, the, uh, the scripture where it say with your daughter, don't give her too much liberty? Yeah, don't give her you know too much liberty, let, yeah. Let, let she go crazy with, yeah. her, with herself, right? Mm -hmm. That's us. Yep, you know? yep, yep. You know, if you give us too much, then we're going to go buck wild. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Verse 12. It says, I know both how to be a base and I know how to abound. Everywhere in all things I am instructed both to be fully and to be to be full and to be hungry, mm -hmm. both to abound and to suffer need. That's right. So Heavenly Father had, had to bring us to yeah. bring us to that uh right. point. Right. So we know like, okay, okay, now we know how to maneuver. Right. We now we hey look, we're just we're basically like an all around player, mm -hmm. like LeBron. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh okay, I know how it's like to have a shitty ass team. But dang, I can I right, bet, but I know how to maneuver to get them to the chip, the championship right. still. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I know how it is to have Kyrie, Anthony Davis, Dwayne Wade, Chris Boss. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I, now I know how to operate when I'm up. Mm -hmm. See? And that's why the Heavenly Father brought us to that point. Because, mm -hmm. you know, a false balance is the bottom of this. Oh, that's spirit. That's the spirit, uh, bro. That spirit. is the spirit. Hey, that's the spirit. Proverbs yeah. 11 and 1, bro. You see? You see? You see? Wow. That's, hey, you see? Proverbs 11 and 1, bro. <laughs> a false balance is an abomination to out of one, but a just weight is his delight. Hey, see, that's so you got to experience both both sides. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You got to experience both sides, man. Mm -hmm. Right? Why? So that, hey, we can make testimonial videos like yeah, these. Yeah, yeah. And build and build and build a brother's spirit. Right. You see? Yeah, man, so, man, it was just beautiful. It was just funny because, you know, the mm -hmm. brother's like, damn, like, how did, how, damn, how you pull that? It's mm -hmm. like everything, damn, how you pull that off? How'd right, you pull right. that off? It was nothing good. I was just like, yeah, nothing but I was like, hey, bro, it was, it was the Lord, bro. It was the Heavenly Father. You know, what else, like, mm -hmm. what else, like, can we say? You know, it wasn't us. Heavenly Father just uh, provided everything for us, right? Uh, you good? Yeah. I'm All right, man, with that, you know, Yahweh desire, you few brothers and sisters were edified. All praise, honor, glory goes unto Yahweh. Ba Shem. Yahweh Shai. Ba Shem. Rakakodas. Death to America. Shalom. Shalom.